Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, maybe also do a quick introduction of myself because I'm also new to the IGF. And since you stressed that in my normal life, I very much focus on communication, multilingualism and access got a new meaning entering this building here and listening to the presentations because you have developed your own language, which requires uh, probably for many others who want to have access some kind of translation to understand why this really matters and why this is of relevance. And I would strongly urge all participants to, moving forward, focus on this kind of translational efforts so that uh, all the people who might be interested have a chance to participate and contribute also in our discussions here. In my comments today, and, and maybe the, the other point is I'm invited to the IGF not so much because I'm in charge of communication for SAP, but because I'm chairing the Commission for E-Business, IT, and Telecommunication of the ICC, which is the voice of business around the globe. Emerging issues from a commercial, from a business perspective, we discussed about this next billion, uh, last billion, this whole forum is about providing internet for all, but business usually go after the low-hanging fruits and they will be more likely among the next billion than the last billion. On the other side, innovation, creativity requires challenges and these challenges clearly are in the field of the last billion, why I do believe that there is a kind of a constant exchange between new efforts, research, and approaches to reach the very last billion. And I think it's important, I don't recall who said this, that uh, it's the last billion who want to have access to the Internet. We don't want to force anybody uh, to be happier than they are. But here in this area, I think there is certainly uh, lots of need for creative approaches, um, which can only be done in an environment similar to this here, where all different kind of stakeholders come together on an equal footing and can first of all share the challenge share and, the then challenge and then collectively on a solution here. These solutions for the last billion, uh, that I'm convinced of, will heavily contribute to even more affordable and proper and stable solutions for the next billion. This is the usual way how uh, innovation pours and influences the mainstream here. But there's another area which is impacting us probably even stronger, and that is what you mentioned, the global crisis. Um, right now, it feels a bit more like a still virtual crisis. I'm concerned that when we come together at the next IGF in Cairo, it's a real crisis, a real recession, because right now it's quote-unquote just the cash that doesn't flow. When the demand is gone, uh, we are looking into a completely different picture here. This is therefore most likely that private investments in ICT and other areas will rather decline than grow. We, we come out of a double-digit growth uh, environment and this is a very new um, approach for us. At the same time, we can see that, and it's not a surprise, but we need to be very careful here, that regulation, protectionism, and to an extent even nationalism are quickly getting back into fashion, which I think is a very, very um, concerning development. Those who looked into the New York Times yesterday and saw that um, Berlusconi suggested to put internet regulation on the G8 agenda is just the latest evidence that something is happening here which we need to very care all together very carefully watch. However, I think the public sector has a unique opportunity in this situation. Um, in the previous years, I often referred to the um, ICT readiness index that the World Economic Forum puts together once a year and you can see here that there's a huge gap between the ICT readiness of governments and the uh, businesses in the different markets. We have mature markets where the government is heavily lacking behind the economy and we have emerging markets where the government is leapfrogging. And I think this is an opportunity particular for those who are lagging uh, to catch up and to, to not only be an enabler but also an exemplar to use ICT to all the benefits that we know and that we are aware of and I think here now is clearly an opportunity and it would also a bit buffer the impact uh, of this crisis that we are somewhat concerned about. And business will have to explore new business models, will also have the opportunity to explore new business models that in the past were very challenging because of the very same financial system that is now creating this trouble was extremely reluctant to support move into new models. What I'm talking about is this whole notion of on-demand consumption-based uh, business models. Just to give you an example, SAP is a company which is pretty highly valued by the investors and the triggering big factor is how much software license we sell, which is upfront license sell and that determines the, the value of the company. 
And the moment where we tightly try to change anything, there's an immediate concern and the value goes down so nobody touches this. Now, uh, value of our and many other companies uh, of today is very significantly different than what it was prior to September. There's an opportunity to explore new business models uh, because you, you get harmed uh, and punished so heavily like it was in the past. And it's also the customers, certainly, who in these times uh, have much more interest in a kind of an on-demand, ongoing uh, consumption-based pricing model than these kind of upfront opportunities. And it's not just in the ICT industry. We see this in our, to use another terminology, old economy customers, the manufacturers. Uh, Hilti is a producer, uh, the global leader of drilling machines, uh, very heavy duty materials. They, since quite some time, tried to move into a business model where they, instead of selling drilling machines, they sell holes. And that means they serve their customers more than they sell them or want them to invest in drilling machines. With the exception of a few private men, I think nobody has a desire to own a drilling machine, but many, many people. Uh, need hold for constructions, and this is what they want to sell. But to sell this, um, they need to become a service provider. And to do this on a global basis, they need to create a network uh, far beyond the classical supply chains. This network will be in constant transformation. This creates ecosystems of small, medium businesses at the local place of the customers. And all these kind of things very much depend on IT infrastructures, on the Internet, the Internet of Things mentioned here, but also the Internet of Service, and in, in more uh, um, academic terminology, I think it's the semantic web which will um, heavily spur these kind of developments. This is the big thing that from a business perspective uh, we are waiting for, we are looking into, we are investing into, but also I see that the uh, different government institutions are putting strong emphasis on this. This is clearly the way to go from our perspective, and convergence, which uh, was a big topic at the OECD Ministerial Conference, which was a, and is a big topic here, um, is another adding element here. Critical is cybersecurity, then more than ever before. Um, affordable access and reliable networks, I think this is uh, not a given, but I trust that this will be a given, and, uh, but it's needed, that, that goes without being. And then, what are the other emerging topics? Sustainability is something which uh, already today moved out of the marketing departments into uh, the office of the CEO because it combines a couple of really important issues which affect us but affect every business, every corporation. Compliance is the, the most risky way to be thrown out of business and therefore not having a sustainable, uh, sustainable business will be non-compliance, so this is a must. Education and, and access to talent uh, is, is another critical element. And then this whole, depending on how you want to describe this, green notion, environmental aspect that in some industries play a more prominent role than in others. It is very obvious that the public and also the debates here are very interested in green IT. I personally believe that even higher relevance is what IT can do for this planet to become green the whole impact on efficiency, on, on uh, careful use of resources by using IT cannot be underestimated and always needs to be put into perspective when we discuss green IT. And last but not least, on, because this is mainly why we are coming together, uh, on the policy framework side, the, the classical elements of policies, making the cash flow, credits affordable, taxation appropriate also for industries uh, that are new coming in the space of ICT, uh, in the context of these stimulus packages is a must. Intellectual, pro intellectual property rights uh, will become more critical than ever before and mainly for the small medium business. When you have these ecosystem, uh, it's not the big giant who, who is, is uh, establishing the ecosystem. It's the thousands of little partners who sit on that platform uh, who depend on a proper protection system for the intellectual uh, capacity and, and um, investments here. And I think this, this requires a collective effort, and it needs to be done in a much, much more harmonious fashion around the globe here. Um, we certainly, from a business perspective, cannot stress enough how important it is to continue to foster fair competition all around the globe. And last but not least, what I want to stress here, even if this is the first IGF that I've participated in, but it was enough for me to experience, and it, I sense it needs to be experienced, that only such kind of a format where 
all the different stakeholders come together on an equal footing it's changed not with the intention to have a uh, by everybody agreeable uh, declaration at the end of the event but really have an open discussion to learn from each other and I've discovered so many new things by just participating in workshops and listening to discussions that this in itself I think gives uh, a tremendous value and I only hope that we can continue this and further advance this and with that I would like to conclude my issues inventory. <laughs>